Hi guys, this is Alicia Julia. I am here today with my brand new camera T3i. Um, very highly expensive camera with a beautiful three year warranty. Um, I had some problems with being able to even remotely even get it to, re to record and stuff. So I've had to read the damn manual. Unfortunately, because of my Sometimes I, I don't remember English. I had to go back to the Spanish version of the manual to be able to understand the directions a little bit better. Go figure. So I had to bounce back and forth between the English and the Spanish directions. <laughs> Before it was all it was all fuzzy and you couldn't see any of this. Well, I had to get a um, high def class 10 um, SD card to go along with it because it's that type of camera. It's a very high def camera. And um, I had a rude awakening and didn't realize that my computer sucked. That um, I wasn't going to be able to download anything off the SIM card into my computer directly like I would normally. So because it's a class 10 and it's also 32 mega, uh, two, 32 gigabyte SIM card. I had to buy me a special card reader. I thought that would be the case because I had problems with them um, higher than two gigabytes before my in my computer before. <clears throat> this is like a 72 card reader. Very portable. Put it in. Be done with it. You know, it goes right into the USB port. I have two USB ports. No, I actually have, I have three USB ports in my computer alone. Um, I had personally installed uh, the last two um, about four years ago into that computer. Um, so it has um, an SD card, CF card, micro SD, SD, HD, SDMD, mini SD. Also, you can put the adapter with that. The M2, the XD. I mean, you, you could do all kinds of yummy cool stuff with this particular um, pipe, you know, so um, this is, a, I got this for $7, someone said go to Amazon, I just went right down the road to the computer shop, and I got it for $7, no, I got it for $5, even better deal, and then um, I'm able to download my photos and my pictures and my videos and all that fun stuff into my computer now directly. So that's a good thing. Now I can do longer videos for you guys in the future. So, anyways, I'm gonna update you guys about something else. Um, I'm gonna flip my viewfinder for a minute. I'm not used to having a, a, a viewfinder. I can flip over. There we go. There we go. I can actually see my ugly face. Ah. <laughs> uh, I bought three tickets to Disneyland. I'm going to Disneyland over the weekend. Disneyland is probably going to be like the last thing I'm going to be able to do here in Southern California before I move to Southern Alabama. <clears throat> I have like four more job opportunities out there. I've been putting a job applications everywhere, but it seems like the ones that I'm getting hits on is actually Southern Alabama. Um, I have a couple potential more roommates to meet with, so it might be another thousand dollar trip just to go out there, have like some more job interviews. Um, I'm not going to make the same mistake and get lost again, and uh, yeah, it might be my last Southern California trip. Um, I'm going to try to make it to Northern California again. And even the middle of California because I have um, dead relatives in the middle of, of uh, Southern California. I mean, middle of Cal. I'll get my geography right some century. Don't expect from me. Geography was never one of my strong points. And uh, so um, I picked up three tickets and they didn't even have regular um, Disneyland tickets. They had freaking only hopper tickets. So I spent $137 on three tickets, me, myself, and a friend. I had offered my friends to come with me, you know, come to Disneyland with me, you know. I was going to pay. No one took me up on the offer, so, oh, actually one person did. 
So, I mean, we'll, we'll go from there, you know, and have fun, get away, spend possibly our last time together as friends, you know what I mean, and, and before I move to Southern Alabama. Um, but as a gentleman out there that wanted me to be his roommate for free, but he wanted me to do the wee wacky woo with him and all that crap, and they ain't, they ain't doing that crap. Screw you, dumb bastard. I mean, I'm still saving myself for marriage. Um, I'm saving myself for one man still. I'm still saving. Sa I can't say this word right. Ah, single. There. I don't wear my old ring like I used to. Um, I have a used to have like a, a ring tan, and it's still there. But it was on this finger was my ring, and then this is the turtle ring I wore to remind me that steady it was the best. So. Um, steady and slow was the best. But I still got my ring tan from wearing this ring for two years and showing off other men for two years. You know, and um, you know, <clears throat> being accused of something you didn't do really sucks. Um, it's one of my um, ultimate pet peeves. But I figured that if this person was going to accuse me of stuff I didn't do after being with me for two years and and not believing me and whatever whatnot and this is their way of being weak and all that after I stood by their side through so much a lot more <laughs> you know what I mean so <sighs> sorry I'm still venting about that I'll probably still be venting about that till the day I die so um but anyways um I'm looking forward to Disneyland. I'm looking forward to these uh, potential roommates. Except for the one that wants me to be there for free. And all he wants me to do is just uh, be there to do the wee wacky woo with him. Meaning, screw him. And I am not going to do that. Um, even though he's fine as hell. But I'm, I'm saving myself for marriage, guys. I, I am. You know, and... Um, for two years, I was actually saving myself for one man, you know, in hopes of being with him some century. And I was willing to wait for as long as it took for that one man because I felt he was worth it, you know. So, you know, but you know, like in like in like in everyday life and real life, things don't always work out as planned, and um, people try to find some type of fault in you for no reason. It really breaks my heart. I'm still kind of, I'm still depressed, I'm still angry, I'm still hurt. You know, I'm all those feelings still about that, but, um... <sighs> yeah, there's no words for it, really, is it? You know, you meet, you, you lose your, you lose your husband that you've been with for 13 years. You're married to him for five. He dies of cancer. You think you can never, ever, 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 ever fall in love again. And then all of a sudden, someone smacks you right up in the face. Is your, is your, was your best friend. And then love smacks you in the face. And it's like, what the hell is this? You know? So I kind of feel like I lost a husband. Like, again. I feel like that grieving process is there again. And then for him to deny me to my face after me being there for him, sticking up for him, standing by his side through so much really hurts. There's no words to describe how hurt I am. I mean, I'm really good at putting up a front, you know what I mean, for how I feel. But on this one, I cannot hide how I feel. I was hoping to one day marry this person and have this person's last name. I even changed my Facebook last name to his throughout this entire time. And um, when I changed my name to my name, I have my legal name I have now. It really broke my heart too. 
It still breaks my heart. <laughs> to be accused of something you don't do. You know, I, I spoke to a few people about the situation and for someone to say to your face after being with you for two years that they've moved on. It's like, it's like they planned this moving on this entire time and trying to find some form of fault within me. And that in itself hurts a lot because I was willing to, you know, wait on him two more years, three more years, five more years, ten more years, however long it took, you know, and, um, but yet he wasn't willing to ask me, you know, it just, it just shows you how fickle sometimes people can be. You could be there for people to your blue in the face, but when it comes time for them to be by your side, they pfft, they they uh they escape from you like vapors in between your fingers. So right now I'm trying to do everything I can here in Southern California as much as possible, see the sights in case I leave. And in the event that I leave, you know, I have these memories, these videos these whatevers, you know, to come with me when I leave. Um, someone mentioned after the breakup that they were happy about my breakup. 